Rogue planets, also known as free-floating planets, are a form of planetary body that does not have a fixed orbit around a star, and instead drifts alone in space. These planets are believed to have been expelled from their star system during its formation, or after a gravitational interaction with another planet or star. One thing that has made scientists very wary of these rogue planets is that it is very challenging to detect them, and they have the potential to collide with other planets, moons, or asteroids, resulting in significant damage. They also do not get the heat and light provided by a host star, making them extremely cold and unsuitable for supporting life as we understand it. The fact that these kinds of things exist is a little unsettling, but according to some studies published in 2022, there are speculations that over 3 million rogue planets exist in our Milky Way. Once these rogue planets get hurled by intense gravitational forces from their original birthplace, they begin their journey of wandering about in space. Over 4 billion years ago, it was recorded that Jupiter flung an infant planet out of our solar system into space, making it a rogue planet. Although some of these rogue planets are as big as Jupiter, most are said to be rather small, with weights ranging from 0.3 to 1.0 Earth masses, according to theories about planet formation. Next on my list is the Gliese 1214b. Located about 40 light years away from Earth, in the constellation Ophiuchus, Gliese 1214b is an interesting exoplanet that has been classified as a super Earth by scientists. What super Earth means is that the Gliese 1214b is six times larger than our planet, but significantly smaller than the gas giants in our solar system. Gliese 1214b orbits its own star, a low mass M type star, very closely, competing one orbit every 1.58 days. Gliese 14b's proximity to its host star has caused it to have a very high surface temperature, estimated to be around 281 degrees Celsius. 542 degrees Fahrenheit. Another fascinating feature of Gliese 1214b is that it is made up of water, which has given it the nickname Waterworld. According to scientists, the high temperatures have caused the water to evaporate, creating a dense, steamy atmosphere. Despite all these unique characteristics, Gliese 14b is also considered a terrifying exoplanet. The state of its atmosphere and extreme temperatures are not conducive to human life and are hostile to life as we know it. This heat and pressure on its surface make it an improbable destination for human exploration. Also, scientists speculate that the planet's surface may be covered by a layer of supercritical water, a type of water that is neither liquid nor gas and is under extreme pressure. It is said to exist in a plasma or ionic state in the bottom layer of its atmosphere. This water is highly reactive and capable of dissolving almost anything it comes into contact with, making the surface of Gliese 1214b potentially dangerous for any spacecraft that attempts to land on it. The next horrifying exoplanet on my list today is the 55 Cancri E. 55 Cancri E, also known as the Janssen, is an exoplanet situated in the constellation of Cancer, about 40 light years away from Earth. It orbits a G-type star named 55 Cancri A, which is similar to our Sun. This super-Earth, discovered in 2004 by a team of astronomers using the radial velocity method, which detects the wobbling motion of the star that is caused by the gravitational pull of its planets, is larger size than Earth in both size and mass, but smaller than Uranus and Neptune. The estimated radius of 55 Cancri E is about twice that of Earth, while its mass is approximately eight times greater. It orbits its star at a distance of only 0.015 astronomical units, AU, making it closer than Mercury is to the Earth's sun. With a scorching surface temperature of around 2,000 Kelvin or 1,727 degrees Celsius, it is one of the hottest exoplanets in existence. This heat is due to the planet's proximity to its star, as it completes a full orbit in only 18 hours. As a result, the planet is exposed to extreme radiation and heat, causing its surface to melt and making it inhospitable for life. 
Moreover, the composition of 55 Cancri E is mostly carbon, with a small amount of nitrogen and oxygen. This has led scientists to speculate that the planet might be covered in diamonds, graphite, or both. The extreme conditions on this exoplanet make it very unlikely for life to exist there. Nevertheless, it has piqued the interest of scientists as it offers a unique opportunity to study the properties and evolution of super-Earths. The next exoplanet on my list is the extremely hot Kelt 9b. Kelt 9b is a 300 million year old gas giant exoplanet in the constellation Cygnus some 650 light years distant. It revolves around Kelt 9, one of the hottest and brightest stars known to science, with temperatures exceeding 10,000 Kelvin. This gas giant is about three times the mass of Jupiter that orbits its star at a distance of only 0.03 astronomical units, equivalent to approximately 5 million kilometers. Its orbit is so close to its star that it completes one revolution in approximately one and a half Earth days. The extreme conditions on Kelt 9b classify it as a unique exoplanet. Its temperature is roughly 4,500 Kelvin, making it one of the hottest exoplanets known to man. The planet is so close to its star that it is tidally locked, which means that one side of Kelt 9b is always facing the host star, and the other side is always facing away. The scorching temperatures on the day side of Kelt 9b are enough to vaporize metals in the planet's atmosphere including iron and titanium. This vapor causes a tail-like plasma stream behind the exoplanet that reaches millions of kilometers into space. Aside from its tremendous temperature, Kelt 9b has a very eccentric orbit, which means that its distance from the star varies dramatically over millions of years. This orbit pattern creates enormous gravitational pressures on the planet, which can alter its shape and possibly break it apart over time. The next exoplanet is the Tres 2b. Tres 2b, an exoplanet found in 2006 by the Transatlantic Exoplanet Survey, Tres, is recognized for being darker than coal. It is formed in the constellation Draco, around 750 light years from Earth. Tres 2b is a gas giant with a mass and size very similar to Jupiter, but it orbits its parent star very closely, making it a hot Jupiter. Tres 2b orbits its star in just two and a half days, and due to its proximity to the host star, scientists believe that its surface temperature is roughly 1800 Kelvin, or 1527 degrees Celsius. It is one of the most fascinating exoplanets yet found. Its estimated temperature is so high that it emits a hazy red glow resembling a lump of burning coal. Extreme darkness is another prominent feature of Tres 2b. It is darker than coal or black acrylic paint because it reflects less than 1% of the light that strikes it. The atmosphere of the planet, which contains a lot of light-absorbing elements like sodium and potassium, also intensifies this dark color. Tres 2b is an unusual exoplanet because of its extremely high temperature and total darkness. It has a surface that is hotter than some stars and so dark that telescopes will find it difficult to see it. It is also possible that because of Tres 2b's proximity to its host star, it is likely tidally locked, with one side always facing the host star and the other in the dark. The last exoplanet on my list of horrifying planets is the PSR B1257 plus 12b. The PSR B1257 plus 12b and its other similarly fated exoplanets are one of the first, spookiest exoplanets to be discovered by scientists. They circle a pulsar or dead star. The pulsar planets Phobator, Drago, and poltergeist are constantly bombarded by radiation from the host star's core. These planets stay in the most hostile region of the Milky Way, where only the undead can survive. Located in the constellation Virgo, approximately 2300 light years away from Earth, PSR B1257 plus 12b orbits a pulsar, a type of neutron star that emits regular pulses of radiation. One thing that makes the PSR B1257 plus 12b an unusual exoplanet is that it orbits a star that is not a main sequence star like our Sun. PSR B1257 plus 12b has a mass four times that of Earth and orbits its star at a distance of about 0.19 astronomical units, AU, 
which is much closer than the distance between Earth and the Sun. This exoplanet completes one orbit around its star every 25.3 Earth days. The extreme environment surrounding PSR B1257 plus 12b is another reason why scientists have deemed it unusual. The intense radiation and strong gravitational forces from the pulsar likely stripped away any atmosphere the planet may have had. Additionally, PSR B1257 plus 12b is not alone. It is part of a planetary system that also includes two other exoplanets, PSR B1257 plus 12c and PSR B1257 plus 12d, which are also subject to the same extreme environment. And that's a wrap on today's video. Let us know in the comments section what you think about these exoplanets. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. And as always, keep exploring.